Hi everybody and welcome to the Becoming Podcast. We've got a special guest with us today, Ron, and I'll introduce you more in a moment. But to start with, hey, a big thank you to the Boutique Hotel Leonardo here uh, in Portales for allowing us to use their facilities. So thank you very much. Ron, hey, welcome. Thank you very much for uh, having me here today. Yeah, no, very you. special, yeah. very special. Now, you're a part of a foundation that helps children. Can you tell me about the name and how it came about? Yeah, um, I came to the island in 2012 and uh, I'd retired, but um, I didn't want to hang up my boots, if you understand what I mean. Yeah. I wanted to get on with doing something. I wasn't going to sit on the beach and mm. play around the golf and that's it. So um, I did some charity work on the island for the first couple of years. Um, and then uh, I... I decided that, yeah, working for other charity organisations, why don't I set something up and then lead it and make it work? Right. So, my wife's name is Josephine. Mm -hmm. My name is Ronald. So, I wanted to help children in need in the Bally Alex. Right. And there's another story, why did I do that? But um, I created the, we created the name Josephine Joe, mm -hmm. Ronald Ron, yep. Joe E. Ron makes joy one. Right. To bring joy, comfort and support to the children in the Bally Alex. Right. Um, so well, that's, that's how it started and that was in 2015, 2016. Right. Um, so... Um, I, I'm very pleased with the way it's gone. I set myself up as the founder and president of the foundation, mm. and we have um, four other officers of the foundation, okay. um, and we are the board. Yes. Uh, we're fully registered. Right. We have a NIF, etc. Yes. Um, we're registered here in Palma. We can raise money anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. but we can only spend it in the Valley Alex under okay. our, our statute. Okay. Okay. And, uh, we help with any child that is in need. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, you, you must have, have um, had the realisation or, or found out, out um, firsthand that there was a need for this for children in the Balearic. I mean, most people would think the Balearic is quite a, a well-off, well-to-do sort of area, but honestly not. No, it's not. I mean, um, yes, there are a number of very wealthy people mm -hmm. on the island, um, many of them, and uh, I'm not saying them as a wealthy as a negative statement, they help the foundation. Right. Um, but if you look around and you delve a little bit and search yes. here, search there, um, you will find there are a lot of children uh, on the island who are close to the line of poverty, or the families close to the line of poverty, mm. and some of these children. Um, are in need of help. Yes. Um, we help children that have got life-threatening illnesses. Um, we uh, will help children who are orphaned. Mm -hmm. um, there are children's homes on the island. Um, there are, in fact, now um, there more and more. Uh, but there are children's homes on the island. Thirty-eight of them there. Wow. And wow. that covers around about four hundred and fifty children. Wow. And we support every single one of them yes. that we can. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's hugely surprising that there's 38 of them and the number of children that are in need on the island. Well, I've, I've heard um, there was a um, UNICEF did a survey of, of Spain. Yes. It was some time ago, and I don't know if this number has changed, but one in every four children is classified as living close or in or yes. close to poverty. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a lot. That, that is, is a lot. That is a lot. That means there's a lot of families out there that are yeah. struggling. Yeah. They are. Um, and whatever, whatever time of the year it is, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole year yeah. thing. So with these children, I mean, the homes, are they, they the, the children are living in the, in the homes? Uh, these, or these, these 38? The, 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 many of these homes are run by IMAS, okay. which is the social services here. Yes. Um, they provide the essential um, things, yes. you know, uh, food, yes. bed, yes. Um, uh, some clothing. Yes. But um, Joy One tries, well, every year Joy One buys 
Christmas presents for the kids. Right. Yes. Um, and uh, during COVID, we couldn't get into the children's homes. Right. So instead of buying Christmas presents, and I used to dress up as Papa Noel, yes, go in yes, and yes. give them yeah. out to the kids. Yeah. Um, uh, what we did then for the years of the COVID, and we continued it actually, um, we buy a jumbo gift for right. the home. Um, and it's not something for the actual administration, mm. it is for the children. Yes. You know, a smart TV, right. a trampoline, yeah. playstations and games, etc. Yes. Yes. Um, because it was so difficult to try and get into the homes and now you've got 420 kids, yes. 450 yes. kids. Yes. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. I need, yeah. I need more than one slide and yeah. that ain't great you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's amazing how many children are in need in, in this small area, let alone mainland Spain or the rest of Europe. I mean, this, and the work that you're doing, and I've, and I've heard from a number of people of the, of the, of the fine work, of the great work that you do, and the, and the charity work, and the money that you raise, all goes to these charities. Yeah, 100% of the money we, we raise mm -hmm. does actually go to the children. Okay, if we hold an event and we raise 15,000 in the event, but to put on the event is 5,000. Yes. The balance that we make, 100% goes yes. to the children. Yes. The administration costs of actually running the foundation um, are privately funded. Right. Um, I basically fund it with right. my own money. Okay. Um, because I want to be able to say to anybody that makes a donation, okay, you donate 500 euros, that 500 euros goes to the children. Yes. 100%. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's so, so important, important. So important for, for the people to realise that their money is helping, it's not just going to, to other things. Yeah. And as you said, you, mean, you must be audited as well and, and checked on so oh, yeah, that so side of things. It's all have totally. a tax accountant and yes. everything, uh, annual uh, accounts are yeah. Uh, yeah. presented. Well, I report quarterly mm -hmm. and the tax accountant goes yes. through it all. Yeah. Um, if we get a pure donation mm -hmm. from an individual, um, as long as there's no tangible benefit going back right. to the individual, it's a pure financial donation, yes. we can give issue a Spanish yeah. tax deductible donation certificate fantastic. for the amount of money that is being donated. Yeah. That's fantastic. And, and you, you said about the money, money that you're putting in, but how are other people putting money into the charity? We, we have events, mm. we have uh, an annual gala dinner, um, uh, it, we have about 250 people, right. um, Mark Fosch supports us with that and also Finkel Somnia. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a it's a it's a good party night. Um, starts at about seven o'clock in the evening yes. with um, uh, a reception, yep. uh, and then we break and go into the dining room, um, and we have uh, uh, a three course dinner with wine, etc. We run an auction. We run right. a raffle. Right. We have a band. We yes. have a stage. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Um, and we're dancing until 1.30 in the morning. Right. Fantastic. So we're having fun. Yes. But yes. at the same time, we're doing the essential thing of raising money yes. for these kids. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's one way we have money. We just had a family fun day and go-kart race day at the Magaloo Clay Track. Yeah, I saw the photos yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, um, we've just got, a, a, I think it's about a four-minute video of the whole thing. Um, that raised 15,000. Wow. Net Excellent. Money. Yeah. Um, so we try to do on fairly big events. Yes. Um, in fact, um, this this afternoon I was, um, and yesterday I've been talking to someone about doing our second innovate innovation and art expo. Okay. Yes. Um, the first one was a bit of an experiment. Yeah. We made some money. Yes. But the next one was number two, which hopefully will be May next year, mm -hmm. um, will be a bump up one. Right, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that sounds great. Good, good, good. 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 Um, so so you've got more events coming up all the time. Always things. looking for events. I mean, yes. we'll, we yeah. look for corporate sponsorship right. um, to help us with these events. Yes. Um, we look for private and company donations yes. um, 
uh, as long as they're paid by bank transfer, they're yes. normally fundable once right. they pay, yeah. tax deductible donation certificate. Yes. We have the events where we raise money. And then we, we, what we do do though quite a bit is we actually have one of our um, board members is actually an architect. Right. And one says, why have you got an architect, architect as a board member? Yes. I like to, as well as doing the individual things to help the children, I like to find a project where I can build something. Right. And build it and then donate it. I don't want to run it Mm -hmm. um, because I want to get on to the next project and the next one. Sure. But if there is an organisation that can run run it, then um, we will design it, we will get the, the architect does the work, all comp, all pre yeah, charge, yeah, he's yeah. a great guy, um, he's Spanish, yes. and we get the uh, building license approval, and then we project manage the build of it, when it's finished, we formally donate it to whoever is going to run it, yes. with the understanding, a memorandum of understanding, that it will be kept as what we presented it as, for a period of seven to ten years. Right, right, right. But then we're not only helping children of today in need, we look, I like to look that we're also helping children yes. in the future yes. who are going to be in need. Yes. Yeah. We built an aquatic centre for Spasa. Mm-hmm. We put a full cinema into Sun Spasas in the palliative care unit. So the kids that are in there who are life-threatening mm-hmm. illness, um, they can actually go to the cinema. Right. Doesn't matter whether they've got to stand with yes, a yes, uh, yes, infusion yes, drip or things or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. or they're in a wheelchair. Yeah. They can go to their own cinema, yeah. in, and it's it couldn't be any closer to the actual palliative care ward. It's yes. right on, next door to it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing, amazing. Um, so much work that, that Ron's doing, the Joy Ron. Uh, foundation are doing and uh, we're going to find out some more in a moment we're just going to take a quick commercial break and uh, before we do you know please like share and subscribe below and we'll be back with you soon thank you check your email it just went on the market Knowing how much this house means to you, I put together an offer. It's so good to see you. I have to show you something. Are you ready? Hey, welcome back to the Becoming Podcast. We have uh, Ron with us, chatting to us about the Joy Ron found- <coughs> Foundation, excuse me, and the wonderful work that they do. So, Ron, thank you very much. Thank you for, <laughs> for having me here today. Yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. No, it's wonderful, really. Um, <coughs> how do how do, how did you feel about setting up this? Foundation. I mean, what was the, the driving force? You said it was the, the children, but for you to get involved, um, why set it up? Well, I suppose it really goes back to my own personal childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm from the UK, and uh, I have to admit my own personal childhood was not fantastic. Um, life could have been much better. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I had a life better than some, Sure. but uh, it wasn't fantastic. Right. And I started doing some charity work um, uh, in the UK. I belonged to Round Table. Mm-hmm. Um, and I suppose that got me into the flavour of doing charity work. Right. Uh, but then my uh, career um, took off and I didn't really have time to uh, do my, very much more charity work. But when I came to the island, um, I wanted <coughs> to do something and I didn't want to just hang up my boots Mm -hmm. so I decided to do some charity work here and I thought well I'm sure there are many children on this island um, who could have a better life than what they have Mm. a child normally is 
the environment and circumstances they find them in mm. themselves in is not their fault. Right. It's the environment, or it's the parents haven't looked after the child, or they they've got cancer. I mean, you know, you, you see a, a four year old with cancer. You know, what, what's that child done? Yes. What, 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 why does that child have cancer? Yes, yes. It's just unfortunate circumstances. Yes. So whatever you can do to make their life more comfortable, um, give them those elements of joy, etc. Um, I know I mentioned earlier on about Christmas gifts. To, to actually see the, the smile in the face of the yes. child. I had one child once, I gave out the Christmas presents, I was dressed as Papa Noel, put his arms around my leg, didn't open his present, and he had his legs, his arms locked around my leg yeah. for 45 minutes. Wow. And he was just saying, I want to be with Papa Noel. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Brings tears to your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Brings tears to your eyes. Yeah, yeah. And um, so anytime I can help a child. Yeah, definitely. Um, and as, the, as you said, it's not just the present, but it's, it's, it's the, the, um, the, the touching, it's yes, the, the contact. Yeah. Is it? It's the feeling of being wanted yes. for what you are. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, I don't want sympathy or anything, yeah. but I lived through a, a childhood where I didn't really get many hugs and sure. many, you know. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. I wasn't listened to. Or, you know. and I've, been, I've been fortunate in life. I, I went into the banking career. I'm not, that, I'm not sure if I'm proud to be a, an ex-banker, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Uh, I went into the banking world and I was in it for 45 years yeah. and um, uh, life has treated me well. Yes. So it's payback time. Yeah, yeah. It's that's wonderful. That's, that's, that's lovely. And the work that you're doing, you must be forming a, a group or a community around you and the foundation. Is, is that what Yeah, I've got, I've got four, four fellow officers mm -hmm. and um, I have a around about 20 volunteers yes some volunteers are quite active yes some volunteers are medium mm -hmm. some act volunteers i wish i saw them a little bit more often if you understand what i mean sure. so the foundation is always looking for volunteers okay it's you know um if there's anybody out there who mm -hmm. uh, watches this and oh i might be interested then uh, i'd love them to get in touch with me fantastic yeah. and we'll have those details below as well the, the best way to get hold of ron and, and the foundation um uh, that's probably the easiest way you also um have a shop uh, a web shop I, yeah I know we have a web site, shop um, is... we have a lot of um items on the web sh website um mm. you know um, you can get a t-shirt with you know the joy one logo on it or you can get a a mug or one of the things we're what we're doing for christmas this year but i don't have these on the web i have something similar but um i'm working at the moment with clean wave okay um who look after the uh keeping the sea the mediterranean mm -hmm. and the beaches clean of plastic and yes. such like and this year we're not buying the jumbo gifts that i referred to earlier on this year we're actually buying an insulated drinking flask in stainless steel. Yes. And each flask will have the Joyron logo on it, mm -hmm. and it will have the child's name, Christian oh, name, nice. and initials on it. So it's a personal gift yes. to the 420, 450 children that we're wow. giving them out. And then, as I, as I speak, the the spreadsheets and the yes. names yes. they're yes. all being done at the moment. I think the yes. first batch gets run off next week. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. So, they're going, to be all so they're all going to be available for Three Kings. Yes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I've been in Spain, we celebrate yeah. Three Kings here as well as the, the Christmas, yeah. but the Three Kings yeah. will be the main one yeah. three kings that comes through yeah. from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, with the foundation as well, um, you're looking after these, these, these homes and all these children. Um, how do they get hold of the foundation? Is it through a government department that they, they contact? Well, I contacted IMAS. Yes. And gradually over the years, I have built up, it's not a very nice thing to say, but I built up a portfolio of children's homes. Right. I mean, this year I found, whereas last year I think I had 34, this year I've got 38. Right, you know, right. Um, uh, some of the homes, the children are not, 
youngsters there, mm. you know, sort of 15, 16, 17, 18. Sure. Um, but they still need to find their way in yes. life. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you can do to help them, then let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. And at that age as well, very much needing the support because is it a certain age whether they a, uh, have to go out in the community and find their own way, or is it like 18, well, 17, 18? Well, there's a couple of other charities that very much, um, I, I, I did mention up to 18 sort of thing. Mm. We officially go up to 16, but I do okay. go up to 18. Okay. Um, and there are other organisations on the island mm. which then help with education, of the children, yeah. I don't touch upon education of the children, um, and also um, finding them a career path, mm. you know, and helping them to find work, etc. Yes. Um, uh, you can't do everything. No, no, you know? no. no. Um, so I think it's much better to focus on one aspect uh, and let other people focus on other aspects. Yes. Uh, I do not. I do not do food banks. Right. There are food banks on the island. Yes. Okay. Why duplicate? Yes. Let the food banks do the food banks. They do a very good job. Yes. You know. Yes. Yes. I've got friends who volunteer for the yeah. food banks, and they they are um, amazingly busy every day. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And again, yeah. as you said, that's a separate entity altogether from from what you do. I mean, when you started this and what you're doing now, have you had to make some uh, some quite major changes into your lifestyle by, by, by doing this almost like a full-time occupation? Yeah, my wife sometimes says to me, she says, you've never retired. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. Um, I always used to have a, a motto in my life. Um, I, I'm, I'm a great believer in mottos, and I will give you another motto, but I'll give you this one. Yep. The day I stop learning mm -hmm. is the day I go into my box. Right. While I can still learn, yes. and I, I'm learning all the time, Yes. Um, and fine, Yes. so let's function. Yeah. I, I'd rather do that, yep. okay? So yes, um, I don't have a lot of spare time in my life, but... Um, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I would not be happy just laying in the sun or no. play a round of golf and yes. you know sleeping or whatever. Yes, yes I yeah. mean, my 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 sleep pattern is a little bit up here and down there. Sure. If you understand what I mean, but sure. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. And the old saying of of use it or lose it. You're very much uh, yep. using it, using your body, using your mind. You're looking great. I'm not going to tell everyone how old you are. You can, you can do. You can do. I'll let you say that. Oh, I'm 81 years of age. Fantastic, really. So active, yeah. yeah. So fit, and and the mind mentally as well. Does well, that I was just so fortunate. Strong? I was. I had a biological test of my body. Yes. And they said um, biologically, you are 69. Wow, fantastic. So yeah. I thought, okay, I've got 12 years, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, only 69, yeah, yeah. I'm not 81. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it really is testament to, to the work that you're doing. Um, what other things, what other areas are you in or helping in with yourself or the foundation? Um, I think I've covered most of what we do. As I said, mm -hmm. I just, I, I'm working on a... A new idea at the moment um, and maybe uh, what I want to do at the moment we're very much focused in the southwest part of the island yes but there are other parts of the island and I'm working with my um, team at the moment to let's let's find various towns mm -hmm. around the island um, not little villages I'm talking no. about a town that yeah. can have somebody working in that area as a volunteer as an, uh, an activity team mm -hmm. to serve the community in that area right yes but Doing it through joy. Right, right. Okay. So we will give you give the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We will maybe even use some of our money to support it, or let them support raise yes. money. Yes. Um, and 
okay, we will, if money's raised in um, Alcudia, yes. and Alcudia, okay, if it's raised in Alcudia, let's spend it in Alcudia. Yeah, sure. Unless, of course, Alcudia raises so much money, mm. we can distribute it somewhere else. No. But no. Let's, let's try and work in um, uh, serving each of the main areas yes. around, yeah. not just the southwest. No, no, no. And to keep it local, as you said. Yeah. Support and keep yeah. it local. So that a, a company in Alcudia knows anything that it donates into that into that unit yes. is going to be spent in the Alcudia yeah. area. Yeah. I'm only using the name Alcudia just <coughs> as sure. an example. Sure, yeah. sure. No, that fantastic. We haven't set it up yet, but no. we're, we're working on it. Yeah. So if there's any people out there who are interested in that concept, yes. get in touch with me, please. Fantastic. Is there one thing that you'd like people who are watching, watching the podcast, podcast to take, take away from, from what you're sharing, sharing with us today? today? I did say um, I like, like mottos. mottos. And I, I do, do have, have a motto, motto which I've started, started to use this year. Mm. And I'd, I'd like, like people, people to really think about it. Mm-hmm. We, Joe Long Foundation, cannot help everybody, but everybody can help somebody. Right. Whether you do it through Joy on Foundation mm-hmm. or whether you do it through any other network uh, or organization, mm-hmm. always think if you're, you're comfortable, why not help somebody who needs to be helped? Yes. Yes. And, um, that, that motto, motto seems to have gone quite well this year, yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. and uh, I'd, I'd like, like to build, build on that more. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, you know, I'm working on a project at the moment, um, um, together with a gentleman by the name of Larry, mm-hmm. Larry E. Banks. Um, he unfortunately contracted COVID yes. uh, when he was uh, in at the time COVID, and this guy, he was in a coma for three months. And he was in hospital recovering after that for eight months. Right, yes. And he still has to be regularly checked uh, for respiratory needs, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a great guy. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, he decided that he would like to buy an ECMO machine yes. for Sonos Passes. And this ECO, they have two, I think, at the moment. But they'd, they'd like, like to have a third one. Right. right. It's, it's not, not just used for COVID. It's used for um, re- revitalization, rejuvenation mm-hmm. of the blood, right? And reoxygenizing it, etc. And he wants to get a hold of one mm-hmm. and donate it to Sonos Passes. So Joy Long Foundation is assisting him wherever they can. Yes. Um, we are going to do some of the funding. We put up fifteen thousand to get it going. Mm-hmm. We want just over 70,000. He's already raised about another 15,000. So, okay, there's 40,000 still out there begging, if you understand what I mean. So, fine. Uh, You know, 1,000 people put up 20 euros each. We got another 20,000. Exactly, exactly. Um, What's 20 euros these days? Yes. You know, a few beers in the pub and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. sure. No, no that's a wonderful, wonderful fantastic, fantastic and then and, and uh, very worthwhile causes as well. Yeah. You know, it, it really yes. is. Um, and, and how can the people get in contact with you? Right, we have <coughs> we do have a website, mm-hmm. so anybody can check out some of the, of the, what I've been saying. The website is www.joyronfoundation.org. org. Dot org, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so they can look at the website. Mm-hmm. It's, it's available, available in six languages. You just go in and select the language you want. Right. It actually comes up in English, but you yeah. can get it in Spanish, French, German, Italian, Dutch, and also Russian. Because right. there are a lot of Russian people on the island. Sure, so. yes. yes. Um, so uh, that's available. Uh, we have um, an email address, which is info at joyronfoundation.org okay. and um, uh, anyone can write to me, uh, all, all emails come in to me and then if I need to distribute them out but yes. they all come in to info, info at joyronfoundation.org 
ends up on my computer. Right, sure. So it comes to me and then, okay, yeah. I've got this to do and this to do. Hey, can you look after this? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But anybody who wants to donate or anybody who wants to volunteer yes. or any company that wants to get involved in sponsoring an event or something like that, they're the yeah. channels. Yeah. And if you look at the website, um, it also has my mobile on there. Yes. Um, we're based here in Palm. Um, we, we keep administration costs to a minimum. Yes. Uh, basically, uh, my desk in my home is my yes. office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 fantastic. I mean, I, I don't know really what to say. I mean, thanks just really isn't enough for the work that you're doing and you're providing for the, for the community here. Um, such, such a big heart and uh, such a wonderful foundation, foundation and I really do thank you for coming and sharing that with us. It's, it's been lovely. Well, I thank, I thank you for giving us the opportunity to do that. Um, and, uh, okay, I, um, some people say to me sometimes, Ron, you don't take thanks easily. You, you, mm -hmm. you, you get a bit sharp when someone starts thanking you. Yes, I suppose I do. Mm. But I very much appreciate any support from any avenue right it all helps us to help the children yeah. in need yeah fantastic it's wonderful and we're putting all the details down below in the description how to contact uh ron and the foundation <coughs> excuse me and his team so um please do what you can because it's such a, a hugely worthwhile foundation uh, to be a part of and to support um before we go <coughs> again thank you very much to the hotel boutique Leonardo for having us here. Please like, share and subscribe down below and I look forward to um, joining with you again with more guests that have do some fantastic things for the world um, on the island here and internationally. So I look forward to, to being with you soon. Bye for now. Bye.